All new at six for the very first time since Michelle Traconis was sentenced, we're hearing from the inmate directly. This as she is due back in court tomorrow morning facing a contempt charge. Here's NBC Connecticut's Shannon Miller with more on what Catronis, Tr Traconis excuse me, wrote to her in a letter from your correctional institution. This four-page letter details in part how Michelle Traconis says Fotis Dulos, her then-boyfriend, deceived her and other people who were a part of his ongoing divorce and custody case. It also addresses what's at the center of Traconis's pending criminal contempt case, the sealed custody report involving Fotis and his estranged wife, which investigators say Traconis had illegally displayed on her laptop during her criminal trial. I found out things before and during trial about him. I knew and love. A little more than a month after Michelle Traconis' sentencing, this letter addressed to me further details who else Traconis believes her then-boyfriend Fotis Dulos had fooled. Fotis deceived not only me, but also lawyers and highly qualified mental health professionals, convincing everyone that he was a good guy. These professionals appointed by family court failed to recognize his true nature and that he could be capable of committing such crime. It is unreasonable to expect me to have seen Fotis for who he was when experts could not. Traconis goes on to say more about what her state of mind was when Jennifer disappeared in May of 2019, citing the information from the SEALS custody report and what she says she was told it contained. As you know, my defense was obstructed by the exclusion of crucial evidence and sealing of exculpatory information. This report contains extremely important info that FOTUS, Mike Rose, FOTUS's attorney, Mike Meehan, guardian ad litem, Dr. Stephen Humphrey, FOTUS's psychologist, had told me regarding Jennifer's mental health, and I believe them all. Traconis reiterates that during her interrogation, she told investigators that the attorneys and mental health professionals told her Jennifer had disappeared in the past and that Traconis didn't find it awkward that she had done it again. Jennifer Doulis's family and friends have repeatedly said the mother of five would never have left her kids. Investigators believe Jennifer was a victim of domestic violence and that Traconis had a role in planning and cleanup of her murder and knows more than what she's told them. Draconis maintains there is no physical evidence against her. I deeply regret ever being in a relationship with Fotis Dulo. Now, we reached out to the attorneys and mental health professionals mentioned by Traconis for a comment on her statements. We either didn't hear back from them or they declined commenting given the sensitivity of the case. Traconis says she is already working on her appeal and reviewing records and exhibits. For NBC Connecticut News, I'm Shannon Miller.